Clay with LaceIdell.com and today I have the six step process to more customers and I have step one where we're actually moving on and this is for content. The first couple of steps, uh, you know, we covered information about uh, the type of content that we wanted to uh, create would be for a target market and then we also covered branding you. So in order to create the type of content that will attract our clients, we did that preparatory work so that we, we would know who we were trying to attract. So now you need to take that content uh, and create a content creation plan. So we look at who, what, it, what is it that your target audience is looking for? And what were those pains, problems, and challenges that they identified for you? Because now what we want to do is take their step three, which were their goals and their aspirations and their dreams. What is it they want to achieve and determine how we can provide the tools, training and tips that answer with specific solutions to these problems. So what do you create? I know most of us will feel stuck at one point or another in what is it that you actually do create. Well, I find that there are two types of content that I like to use and one creates followers into a hub or a community and these can be used on a multitude of platforms like Facebook, Timeline, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, uh, LinkedIn, all of the different social media platforms that exist. And the second type of content that I create is for within the hub itself where I'm drawing that audience to. And that might be your Facebook group, it might be a Facebook business page or fan page, or it could be your website. And these posts should address the actual needs of your audience. And then you want to provide those solutions to their pains, problems, and challenges. So you want to use engagement posts and activities that involve engaging that audience with you. Uh, as an example, you might want to use what's your favorite ice cream. You're leaving it open-ended. They're going to give you what it is they like, and you ask them to put it in the comments below. What this does is this starts to warm your audience up. They learn to start to know, like, and trust you. So they start to interact. You interact back. You should be posting twice a day minimum, and the focus should all be to provide value within your hub for meeting the needs of, of this target audience. And so as you get good with one platform, you'll be able to introduce more. What I suggest reaching five to 10 leads a day. And when you're achieving that, you might consider adding another platform or you might consider beefing up the marketing that you're doing within that platform. If you're doing really well, you might want to just increase your feeds on that in that specific platform. But some people like to go ahead and introduce a new platform. And that's easily done at that point. And so you're trying to juggle too many at once and you're learning those different platforms. It can be really frustrating and very often become overwhelming. So in order to reduce your stress and over the feeling of overwhelm, I really encourage you to stick with one platform until you get good at it and then add in another piece. And tomorrow we're going to cover step two, which is capture for the six step process to more customers. And I look forward to bringing you more information. Thank you so much.